So you have gathered some data and you actually think you have some good findings, but the charts you're creating or the graphs you're creating are not really packing that punch that will drive home what your findings are. Maybe they're getting lost in interpretation some more. In this video, I'm going to share some design principles that will take your graphs and charts to the next level. Now, this is good if you already know what data you wanna share and you have your main point picked out already. I've done other videos in the past where I talk about picking your main point and identifying findings. So feel free to check that out as well. Now let's go over to my laptop so I can share some of these principles in real time with you. All right, so I'm going to use these three dots to highlight the principles. The first is proximity. So when we have two things close to each other, we think of them as similar to each other. Other things that drive similarity are color, size, and shape. We also think things are similar to each other when they're enclosed together or connected. Another principle to keep in mind is visual order. Uh, one of them is alignment. So in Western cultures like the US and Europe, we read from left to right. In other cultures, they read from right to left. So think about the culture you're working with when you're thinking about how they're going to take in information. So for example, when we're scanning through documents, this is how our brains look at things. So whenever possible, put the information on the left-hand side. Another thing that helps our brains process information is white space. So this is an example from a couple of reports I put together. So this is the same information, but basically I just separated it so that it was easier to read and take in. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure you're using color strategically. When we have different colors, we think different colors are associated with each other. So on the figure on the left-hand side, those purples, our brain might stop and think, well, are these purples the same group or is that purple trying to tell me something? Are the greens all grouped together? So instead of having your audience think about that, make sure that unless you're trying to convey something with color that you do not use it unnecessarily. And make sure that things are scannable. People's attention spans are short. Oftentimes they might not wanna spend a lot of time reading and looking at data. So the more you can to make sure that the information you're presenting is scannable, the better. And whenever possible, you wanna state the finding in the title. This makes sure that the finding is clear to everyone. So now I'm going to go through the examples. So these are some data I've collected. Um, and the point is that cats are the preferred pet. The first thing I wanna do when I get to a chart is remove all the clutter. Uh, our brains are going to process this information, whether we want to or not, we're going to be distracted by it and it's gonna take us longer to see the main point. So I'm removing the bevel, I'm removing the bottom legend because it's not necessary and I'm removing the lines because they're not really necessary. Instead, what I'm doing to make sure it's easy to find the numbers associated with each bar is I'm adding them at the top. So our, we don't have to look elsewhere to see where the information we need is. Uh, next thing I'm doing is focusing the attention. So I am going to remove that title um, that's very vague, preferred pets, and just drive the point home, cats are the preferred pet. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is to make sure I add uh, a little sentence that tells people what these data are actually representing. Here is the number of people who preferred each type of pet. Another thing I'm doing to focus the attention is removing the color from the other two bars so that just the cat's bar is blue. So this is gonna further focus the attention. I'm also going to gray out the two access tables or access uh, content so that access y-axis and x-axis, graying those out just to drive home the blue and making it a little bit bigger so it stands out, those numbers, it's clear what I want people to look at. 
I'm also focusing the attention by cu putting color in my title. So cats are the preferred pet. If someone were to scan this, they're basically only going to be cats preferred. Got it. You know, it's very scannable. Now I'm just improving the aesthetic. I'm increasing the bars a little bit. Uh, and I'm putting them to the left hand side because again, we read from left to right in the United States. And wherever possible, if you have some qualitative data that's tied to your quantitative data, um, make sure to include it, especially if it's going to provide further context. So for example, here I'm including cats are so independent. That's what one of my survey participants shared. <laughs> I'm also going to lower it a little bit more so that just to add more white space. And I'm making sure that this number and this quote are aligned because um, I want people to think of them as similar to each other. So I'm putting them closer. And there you have it. There is my final chart. So I hope the point is made clear. The chart on the right hand side is quick to interpret. When people look at it, they can clearly take the message away that cats are preferred. And on the left hand side, people actually have to spend more time looking at the chart to figure out what the point is. So I don't want to start any arguments. So just so you know, the data I provided are fake. <laughs> Cats are just my preferred pet. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Some of the choices I made when I was revising that chart were personal preferences, but I was using the principles to guide my decisions. I really like this quote. Don't let your design choices be happenstance. Rather, they should result from explicit decisions. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss other videos.